The 3D Explorer is a feature that allows you to quickly understand assembly complexities and identify the components you wish to modify. It also allows you to identify parent products of the part you are viewing. Let's start by searching for a turntable in Inovia. Let's left click in the search box. We'll type in turntable and left click on the magnifying glass. Then right click on the turntable icon and left click on Explore. We have a generic product depiction in 3D space. To see all the components that make it, right click on the generic product depiction, left click on Tree Expansion, and left click on Expand All. We now have all the parts and products that make up the turntable displayed on the main disk, as well as subdisks for all the subassembly products. Let's now see the part names. Left click on the View tab and left click on the text icon. We can see the names for all the components in the final product. To open a component for editing in 3DX, right click on the text and left click on Open. And our part is ready for editing. Note that the top product is listed as the original parent assembly. This is just how 3DX handles displaying the instance. Let's go back to the turntable assembly in the Explore window. Left click on the turntable assembly tab. Now let's see the component breakdown of a subassembly product. Left click on the turntable tone arm disc. Then left click on the set as active level icon. Now we have zoomed up in the disc containing the component for the turntable tone arm product. Let's zoom in further on another component. Left click on the tone arm control base and left click on the icon set as active level. And we can see the component in more detail. Let's zoom out now. Left click on the fit all in button. Now let's zoom up on the turntable cover corner. Middle click on the turntable cover corner. Then middle hold and right click with your mouse then push up to zoom. Now let's try and left click on the turntable speed light. Note that the cover is in the way, so Katia selects it instead. We can ghost the cover so we can faintly see it but select through it by left clicking on the ghost icon. We can now select through the cover which is still slightly visible. Right click on the turntable speed light and left click on open. We can now edit either the turntable speed light or the rotor cover. Let's now remove the ghosting from the cover. Left click on the turntable assembly tab and left click on the background to deselect everything. Then left click on the ghost icon and left click on the I ain't afraid of no ghosts icon and then left click on the cover. Now the cover is back in the selectable state. Now let's left click on the fit all in icon. We alternatively could have rotated the main disk to access the turntable speed light by left clicking on the large disk and then sliding our mouse to the left. Let's close both tabs. Left click on the X for the turntable assembly explore tab and left click on the X for the turntable assembly tab. Now let's see how we can find the parent product using the Explore functionality. Let's reload it all by left clicking in the search box, type in turntable, left click on the magnifying glass, right clicking on the turntable tone arm head, left clicking on Explore with, and left clicking on Explore parents. And we get a new window showing the product the turntable tone arm head belongs to. If we'd like to edit the parent assembly, we can right click on the assembly picture and left click on open. We left click on the X to dismiss the window and we have our complete parent product. Let's open the turntable assembly once more in Explorer. Left click on the X to delete the tab then left click in the search box 
and type in turntable and left click on the magnifying glass. Let's see how the turntable assembly is put together. Right click on the turntable icon, left click on explore, right click on the generic product depiction, left click on tree expansion, left click on expand all and left click on view. Now let's animate the assembly. Left click on the swap turntable icon. This morphing to an in-place view gives you a very nice animation on how the components get assembled together in the product. To put them back in the turntable view, left-click on the Swap Turntable icon. We hope you have enjoyed the video portion of our simulation training we offer at 3dxtrain.com. Keep in mind that it is difficult to absorb all the material and get fully trained by just passively watching a video. That is why we developed our proprietary simulation training. In this sample of the simulation training, the title in the 3D work area tells us what we are trying to accomplish in the next few frames. Our instruction for this frame is to left click on the View tab the mouse icon shows LC for left click and has the correct button shaded for us. The arrow tip shows the location we are to perform the left click. If you physically left click your mouse at the arrow tip in our simulator, you can advance to the next frame. Left clicking your mouse at the new arrow tip location will advance to the next frame. Right clicking your mouse at this location will now advance you and so on. As you can see, you are required to use the correct mouse button at the correct location to advance to the next frame, just like you would in the actual software. Try it out for yourself and download our free test drive software on your PC to see if it is the right training solution for you. We think you will be amazed with the results.